What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We have a side-by-side -side comparison of the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One controllers. Now first and foremost, I gotta say both controllers have improved greatly from the previous model. Uh, they, they stayed true to their initial design. Very similar designs, but they improved a lot on the little ergonomics and a lot of their response times. And I really like both controllers. So I know I'm really biased towards the PlayStation most, most of the time, but I gotta say when it comes to the controllers, both uh, did a good job. Now, uh, one thing that I like about the Xbox controller is the buttons just look so awesome. Like the, the X, Y, A, B, they look just so pretty and it, it looks awesome. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Let's uh, yeah, just look at, look at it. They just look beautiful. So the buttons look really good and I will say it, it feels like they have a better response time overall for both controllers, just pressing on the buttons and it feels like you press it and it, it goes a little bit better. So one thing I don't like, unfortunately, about the Xbox One controller is it feels really good when you hold it like this and you have your your fingers on the the triggers on the triggers right it feels awesome it feels all everything around it like it feels good both the analog sticks and everything but to to go from the triggers to to up here it's a little strange like i feel a tension on uh, and you can see it right there you'd feel like there's a little tension uh going just like trying to go up here and it's just a little bit but it's just a little bit uncomfortable but it's not that big of a deal i really like the the improved analog sticks with the um they have a little coating uh, on the outside a little texture up on the outside of the xbox one controller uh, let's try to get in there really good so you can see it good uh, so you can see there's a, a nice texture right there that that's one big improvement i really like that i really like how it feels and i know i'm doing a lot of focusing uh, trying to get the like the the little details and like i said there's a lot of little things that i like about uh, both controllers one thing that i wish the xbox had and i guess you can still uh, plug it in like you can make it a wired controller there's a port right there to like charge it and stuff but one thing i like about the xbox 360 controller is if you had a wired connection like like this one there was a little less leg I felt like I felt that there was just a tad little bit less leg when you had a wired connection and I'm not sure if it's the same with this default USB port uh, so anyways um, you do have a battery slot for the Xbox one controller as well uh, I'm not too big of a fan of that I like just plugging it in and charging it like that it adds a little bit of weight to it, but uh, I think they, they cut down on a lot of the weight on the Xbox One controller, so it's a lot less lighter, but if they could have removed the, the battery, you know, batteries are expensive, and I, I am not a huge fan of putting batteries and changing batteries on controllers, but it's not a huge, uh, huge deal. Uh, and then the PlayStation controller, they have the speaker on it. They have the share button, they have the touchpad, which acts not only as one button clicking it, but it adds, uh, on Killzone you see you can swipe to the right, left, up and down, and those are four different functions, which I definitely like that they have that touchpad. Here, like a, a size comparison, I, I think, and also the light, you, you, the light also works as a, uh, like the, uh, a move, like for the, the PlayStation Move. It, it acts as a, a sensor for the camera if you buy the camera and it also will light up different colors depending on how much health you have on certain games. So like in Killzone, it's green if you have full health, but if you're going down and you're getting lower in health, it'll turn to red, which I think is a cool function. Also, something cool about the PlayStation controller is I was playing this game called Flower and I know I sound like a man, an extremely athletic manly gamer right there, but this game called Flower and you can control uh, you, you control these little petals and you try to collect more flowers and it's really peaceful and really cool but you can control how the the the, the petals move 
in, in, in air by going like this, 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 and it's kind of like a steering wheel and it will actually go up, down, left, or right, and that's really cool on the PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, like I said, the size, uh, a lot of people complain about how small the PS3 controller was, and you can definitely see it. Uh, well, you can't see it. Now you can see it. <laughs> you can definitely see the, the PlayStation 3 controller, the PlayStation 4 controller, and uh, the Xbox controller. It's definitely, the Xbox controller is more, uh, it has a, a bigger, like length like this way and the width seems to be pretty much the same for, for these two controllers which uh, they both definitely feel a lot better in your hands than the previous versions and I, I think they both did a, a huge improvement I like the analog sticks on both controllers they have a little kind of like moat in there if you want to get close up now let's focus it a little bit better uh, you can see there's like a oh there's a little moat like thing on both uh, both analog sticks, and they they both feel good. They feel like when you press it, the buttons just work a little bit faster. Like I can compare uh, these two really quick, the the old Xbox and the new one. It just feels like it it, it clicks a little bit faster, and and when when you're talking about milliseconds while I'm gaming, that's a a huge deal. And uh, I apologize for my unorthodox camera work, but just a, a quick comparison between both uh, controllers. I think they did a good job. And let me know in the comments down below, are you Team Xbox or part of the PlayStation Nation? What controller do you think is better? I'll see you later. Bye, hit a button.